Right, good afternoon. It's Friday afternoon, it's just gone past four, and I'm back on the big lake. Uh, as you can see, I've got a new friend, uh, Daffy down there. I think he's going to end up in my bivy if I'm not careful by the end of the night. Uh, come into this swim simply because I've got the teeth of the breeze in my face. It's a bit of a gale tonight, uh, and this swim actually has a bit of history with the big common which lives in this lake. So I'm giving it a bit of a go. Uh, I think my best chance is going to be after dark. I've just tried feeding uh, probably 40, 50 boilies and I think most of them have been picked up by swans and tufties. But I've got a bit of bait in. There's a bit of smell because they've all been soaking in goodness and niceness. And uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I've got two Ronnie rigs out on helicopters and uh, that'll be me really for the duration. I'm fishing big oak baits this time, big bait, 16 mil freebies. They've all been soaked in mineral water and a few liquids. We'll see how it goes. Right, I'll update you if anything good happens. Other than that, it's a chow from me and chow from him. Speak to you later. Okay, it's coming up on half past nine. Uh, the story's quite simple. I've now been chopping and changing my rods around a little bit because I've been chasing my tail. I've now got two out in open water, uh, one at nine, one at ten wraps, uh, over a little spread of krill that I pinged out of the catapult. Both got little bags of krill with them as well. And we're going to see how it goes. Uh, I've had quite a few liners. Don't know if it's breed or carp, so that's why I've got one slightly shorter. And we'll see what happens from there. And that's really it. Uh, hopefully I'll be up in the middle of the night with a big fat carp and I'll show you that. Failing that, I'll see you in the morning. Right, good morning. It's half past ten. Last night was certainly wet and wild. Uh, the, the wind was absolutely horrendous. Uh, it was rain was coming in the bivy, all sorts. Uh, it's calmed down a hell of a lot now. Uh, but even so, even through all that, I managed a, a twenty-pound nine-ounce mirror at three o'clock in the morning. Since then, I've put both rods out into the open water, put a bit more bait in, uh, and uh, I've just. I've been receiving liners now for a few hours. They've just stopped now because I've re-topped up again for the last time. And it's just in the process of packing up. So uh, I'm going to finish packing up. Chuck the kit on the barrow and bimble off home. So I will see you, unless something good happens, next time I'm on the bank. So I'll see you then. Right, good evening. It's uh, Friday night again and I'm back down onto the club lakes. Uh, I'm on the little lake again tonight, uh, the reason being the big lake was a bit busier than I was actually anticipating so I've come down on here, uh, it's not been fishing well on either lake from what I've been able to make out but I did a lap around earlier and I did manage to see a couple of fish which is good and a cormorant. Uh, they were both tucked in well in underneath those trees on the far bank so my left hand rod is off to the trees on the left hand side uh, my right hand rod is off underneath up against well towards that tree on the right hand side and we'll see how it goes uh, they're both locked up on the drag so i just need to lift that right hand bobbin up a little bit and i'll be fishing properly and uh, that's me for the night really uh, i'm a little way short of the trees in both ones sort of like a few feet so i should be all right to sleep and still fish it we'll see how it goes right i'm going to get some tea on because it's that time of night hopefully the fish do too and uh, hopefully I'll show you a big fat, uh, picture of a big fat carp in the middle of the night. Failing that, I'll see you in the morning. Right, good morning. It's just coming up on 12 o'clock. Uh, last night I had one tiny little liner. That was it. Uh, this week I'm off to the Stour on Wednesday for a coaching session. Thursday I'm off to Todd with a mate. And then Friday night I'll probably be back down here. So I will see you sometime next week. Uh, right, as promised, it is Wednesday, and uh, today I'm down on the Dorset Stour, down here with Pete, I'm doing a little bit of a uh, small fish bashing. I've got, well, I don't know, four or five pound of roach, a couple of perch. He's just had about uh, a four or five pound jack pike, so yeah, it's all good fun. Uh, that's it really for this. I will be down at Topper tomorrow and I'll tell you more about that then. Shut it out. He's only in again. He's only smashing it up on Willowbank. Apparently I'm going swimming. <laughs>
Oh, it's bending! Have you just nagged your other line? <laughs> what have you got this time? Oh yeah, it's the Big Lin. He's had the Big Lin. Jace's new PB. Right, join me here. I'm uh, top of Manor's uh, Willowbank Lake. I've been here for the night with uh, my mate Jace, who's currently walking up there to investigate a single beep. Uh, last night, we've had, uh, well, over the course of the 24 hours, we've had, I've had six fish, Jace's had four. Uh, biggest 20 pound 12 there was a 12 pounder in amongst it and then the rest are all three to five pounds uh, yeah we've been catching on zigs bottom bait singles and uh, yeah it's, it's been all right it's been a good giggle anyway I'm off down to the club lake in a minute and we're gonna give it the night on there and see what happens so I shall see you when I get there ciao for now okay so I'm just doing a quick run around the big lake and uh, I found all of them and there's another family over there as well so I'm gonna go and find some deeper water to fish see you when I find it right good afternoon I left Topba earlier on and I've come down to the club lake uh, I'm on the big lake today uh, I've tucked myself away with the wind almost off my back uh, halfway down the lake I've got five foot of water out in front of me according to the deeper I did find a six foot hole, but I'd cracked off the deeper at that point and uh, I was, it was drifting across the middle of the lake. Got it back, but a bit embarrassing. Uh, but yeah, I've got uh, two rods out in the area. They're both on pop-ups at the moment over a spread of bait. But I am thinking about putting a wafter on or two and seeing what happens. And, and that's it really. I'm just going to be fannying about uh, for this evening, uh, getting lots of sleep probably. Right, if anything good happens, I'll show you. Failing that, I'll see you in the morning. Right, good morning. It's uh, 9 o'clock in the morning. Last night I got done at about 8 o'clock. Uh, threw a, a top bead on a helicopter moving, which wasn't the best. And that's been it. A couple of little liners through the night, and that's it. Uh, so I'm off. I'm too cold. Uh, didn't bring my gloves. My hands are raw loads of excuses but at the end of the day I just haven't caught fish so I'm off see you next time I'm on the bank uh, right it's Wednesday afternoon uh, I've managed to nip down to the club late for a couple of hours after an appointment the story is that I've basically walked around the little lake done the north bank on the big lake uh, haven't seen a lot I've just seen my first show which is actually not far off where I've ended up putting my rig. Uh, I've only got one rod, I haven't even got a bobbit, uh, bite alarm with me. It was, I was just coming up here for a recce more than anything else, ready for the weekend. I'll be, uh, be up here again on Friday. Uh, and yeah, it's looking promising already. Uh, that's about it really, that's all you need to know unless I catch one. I'll probably see you on Friday. Hopefully I'll have my van back and it'll all be good news. Until then, chaff now. Good morning, it's Friday morning. It's my birthday, so I've got the day off. Uh, I finally got my van back from the garage after last week's fiasco, which saw it breaking down again. So I wasn't fishing last weekend. Uh, as you would have seen, I was here on Wednesday for an hour or two. Uh, during that time, uh, I saw a few fish, didn't get any bites, but I did a lot of recce work. And uh, that recce work has basically seen me setting up now. I will be on the big lake probably for the rest of the season unless I see fish on the little lake uh, today forecast is horrendous well good for fishing horrendous for camping out in uh, we got gale force uh, southerly and southeasterlies so I've set up on the south bank facing north so I can tuck myself away into my bivvy uh, that's coming across this afternoon this evening so I'm all settled in two rods out on little bags for a start and we'll see how we go from there
Okay, take two. Uh, it's just gone half past four. As you can see, it's starting to get dark and the liners have begun. I hit that last one and then I've had another one whilst I've been resorting the rig. So uh, there's something in the swim, whether it's bream or carp, no doubt I'll find out just after dark when it's honking down and I need to tie more bags. Right, wish me luck for the night. I'll speak to you in the morning, if not before. All right, good morning. It's eight in the morning. It is the calm after the storm. Uh, it stopped raining and the wind died down around about midnight last night. So uh, as soon as that happened, I started getting a few liners. I'm not quite sure if it was carp or small fish just swimming through the weed bed that I'm fishing over the top of. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a funny one. Uh, there's been a few fish crashing around, predominantly on the far bank. Uh, I've had a bit of fizzing going on this morning when I've been looking. Tried to have a lay in, failed miserably because I've ended up getting up on cormorant scaring duties. Yeah, it's, it's not too bad. Uh, anyway, the rest of this week is, I've been working for a couple of days, then I'm off to Barston for an army match on Wednesday for 48 hours, and then straight off the back of that, I'll be back down here. I might stop off at home for a quick shower on my way through. Uh, and that'll be about it, really. Uh, so I'll probably see you next when I'm at Barston, unless something good happens when the sun comes out down here. But I'm just waiting for my kit to dry off. Right. I'll see it faster then. Right, good morning. Uh, it's the last morning of the first army match of the year. I'm sat on Barston Lake. Uh, I've got Tim and Brigger sat up there on about 500 odd pound. I've got the guys in that swim down there who are on about 400 or 500 odd pound, and I'm sat in the middle of about 150. All by myself with three rods. Uh, I've had one decent fish which I'll show you a picture of and that's about it. Right, I'll see you next time somewhere when I'm on a venue with some decent fish in it. See you later. Uh -huh.